For the past several years, I've been fortunate to be working in the interior design business. I absolutely love it and I'm so excited that you want to learn a little bit more. One of my favorite aspects as a designer is working with the clients. It's very important though that you have a positive attitude and that your personality can help neutralize situations as you learn to navigate through working with a client. So today we're going to dive into what the process is like to work with a client. Once a client contacts you, the first step is to engage with them on a level to kind of find out what their needs and wants are. I usually like to reach out by email first just to kind of get an idea of what's the project scope looking like. Am I talking about a remodel with them or am I looking at doing furnishings? Once I can have a clear understanding of what the client needs, I can then dive a little bit deeper into some of those detail questions that are going to help me produce a better deliverable for the client. Some of those questions might be, what is your style? What are your needs versus your wants? What are your expectations for this project? Once I can kind of get to know some of those details, also some other fun details, like how does you and your family live? What are your um, desires for this space? Do you like to host? Or are you more of a minimalist? Those are the kind of details that you want to get into with them. So that way when you are sitting there and compiling your selections for their design, you've got um, confidence in knowing that you're going in the right direction. So when it comes time to present, you can be fully confident in all the decisions that you've made. So one of the most important things that you need to determine when you first start working with a client is budget. One of our jobs as designers is to make selections based on a client's budget. So we may actually love a certain tile or we may love a certain fabric, but if that's not in the client's budget, then we aren't doing them a service. So it's very important to be upfront and ask those questions and not be afraid. No one really likes to talk about money, but it is super important that we get those questions on the table before we start working on anything. Oftentimes, a client has in their mind what their design is going to be like. And oftentimes, our design is completely different. It's really important to educate your client on why you made certain decisions based upon their space. If I have a client who has kids and I select a piece of leather, I'm going to choose something that's kid friendly. I can scratch this piece of leather and no marks are going to show. So it's really important that I help educate my client as to why I chose this versus maybe a shinier leather that they were expecting. It's also really important to help a client understand their space. While they may have wanted an L shaped sectional, that might not be the best use of space for which they're living in. So it's okay if your design is different from what they were expecting as long as you can confidently relay why you chose those things. You've got to remember that they're hiring you as a design professional so they're likely to listen to you. Don't be worried if your design is different than what they were expecting. I also have no problem going back and making reselects if needed and I always try to tell my clients a lot of times this is round one. Hopefully we don't need round two or three, but if we do, that's not a big deal at all. We're happy to go make some reselects for some things or even just show you other options so that you can see that our original selection was the very best one from the beginning. And oftentimes you're going to find that your clients will most likely go back to your original selections once you've shown them other options because they'll understand why you then made that decision in the first place. It's all about educating the client and coming across as the professional. Presentation day is one of my favorite days. It's the day when we get to sit down with our clients and show them all the beautiful things that we selected. So when we do a presentation, we oftentimes do it in person. It's really important, um, I feel, that they're able to see and touch as many of the items that we're selecting, so that way there's a higher chance of them moving forward with the design. We usually like to do a PDF presentation and we'll project it onto their computer through screen mirroring if that's an option. Um, if that's not an option and we need to do it in person, um, like 
just we can use an iPad or a computer. Anything that we can show our digital design boards to our clients is what we use. Um, we're also totally happy and comfortable with sharing our designs through email. Generally, we do that after they've seen them in person when we've had the chance to explain everything to them. That way, when they go home and they decide to discuss it with their significant other, they can make those decisions together and that presentation is right in front of them. So we do like to do PDF presentations. Uh, oftentimes we'll do slideshows. Whatever it is that we feel the client will uh, respond best to is usually the method that we go. It isn't always the same for every client and that's okay, it doesn't have to be. What's important is that you make the client feel comfortable and that the situation is being tailored to them. I have absolutely loved my journey and process so far that I've been on as a designer. Um, it gives me so much joy and satisfaction to be able to create spaces that I know people are going to be creating memories in. I know that you're going to get all the same joy and satisfaction as you continue on this path. It's okay if your designs aren't perfect. It's okay if your processes aren't perfect. Just get started dive in, start with your friends, start with your family, and then grow from there. It is a process and the business and industry is always changing. So there's always new things to learn. So don't ever feel like you are too far behind or too far ahead. You're never gonna be one or the other. You're always gonna be right where you need to be. So keep learning, keep pressing forward, get out those design boards, make those mood boards, collect all the materials that you can so you've got everything at your disposal and get out there and put yourself in front of people. Don't be afraid. I know you've got this.